Why, hello there. You're probably thinking, Danny, you look a little bit different tonight. Where's your red lipstick? Where's your winged eyeliner? Well, every year before Halloween, I like to do a trial run of my makeup, and I thought, why not do a trial run as I'm telling the story of who I'm going to be this year? So tonight's agenda, I'm going to be telling you the story of Mother Night herself, Nyx, the goddess of the night, since that's who I'm portraying for Halloween, as I attempt to do my makeup. Now, disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist by any means, this is just for fun. I will probably mess up quite a few times, so I brought my good friends, Mr. Makeup Wipes, to help out tonight. So without further ado, grab your makeup brushes, and let's get into tonight's tale. Let the horror and the comedy of my face commence. <laughs> Darkness guide you, child. You have outgrown this house of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. Nyx, also known as Mother Night or Nox, is the primordial Greek goddess and personification of the night. Her name means the Mother Night. A shadowy figure, Nyx stood at or near the beginning of creation and mothered other personified deities such as Hypnos, sleep, and Theanos, death, with Arubis, darkness. Nyx was born from the giant cosmic being called Chaos, and was a protogenoi, an ancient being that existed long before the Olympians. With Arubis, her sibling and consort, she gives birth to many gods. Nyx is an essential part of the Greek creation myth, and was integral in the legend. There are not too many myths associated with Nyx since she spends most of the time down in Tartarus with her husband Arubis, but there is one that establishes her as one of the most powerful deities in Greek mythology. Hera believed that Zeus was unfit to rule and decided to take the throne for herself. To do this, she would have to use power stronger than hers. So, she called upon the help of Hypnos. With a bit of magic, Hypnos put Zeus into a deep sleep while Hera took control as king of the gods. There was only one problem. Hypnos wasn't strong enough. Zeus awoke before Hera's plan was complete and grew furious. Through some convincing, Hera was able to blame the whole thing on Hypnos, and Zeus's fury turned towards the minor god. Hypnos fled to a cave to be protected by his mother Nyx. Zeus on his tail. When he arrived to punish Hypnos, he was met with Nyx. Nyx was outraged that he would dare to punish her son and confronted him. She demanded for Zeus to turn around and forget about punishing her son. Even the great Zeus was frightened by the primordial gods, so he agreed to forgive and forget. Zeus may be seen as the most powerful god in all of Greek mythology, but here, we see him running in fear from the Great Mother Night. One myth describes the transition of night into day, with Nyx and Arubis representing the night, and Hemera and Aether representing the day. At sunset, Nyx and Arubis would emerge from the underworld onto the mountain where Atlas held up the sky. Here, they would pass Hemera and Aether, who would in turn descend into the underworlds or go off to their other duties. Working together, Arubis and Nyx would bring the night to the sky. Arubis would create the darkness that brought the night, while Nyx would carry those shadows across the sky. She is sometimes described as doing so in a dark chariot. The system would continue every sunrise and sunset. When the morning came, it would be Hemera and Aether's turn to change the sky. Unlike many other deities, Nyx was not celebrated in a cult of her own, but was often in the background of many other major cults, including one dedicated to Artemis, one of her descendants. 
While not many things are known about Mother Night, we are internally grateful for her, for without her, we would have no stars and no moon. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that actually went a lot better than I thought. Um, so this is the final look. A goddess must have her halo crown, correct? And I added some earrings, and I am a little orange, so we're gonna tone that down for sure. I don't know that I love the lipstick, so I might do something else with it. But anyway... Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. It was just a little fun idea I had. Nothing crazy. Maybe it'll be a Halloween tradition. But stay tuned for some more fun Halloween adventures with me. Well, as always, stay spooky, my lovelies.